checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lights here. We're back with another video. We're going to talk about refund coin, RFD. Uh, my favorite meme coin in uh, on Ethereum right now. Okay, guys. It's actually my... Uh, it's one of my favorite meme coins. Well, there was two meme coins which are, which are my favorite meme coins on Ethereum. Um, one of which is no longer a... Re, uh, is, is no longer a meme coin. And that would be trending number one, this one, Ben. Ben token. Okay, so this is uh it is still showing the logo up here the logo has changed but this was a meme coin has changed into something that's no longer a meme coin and um, so uh yeah this is my this and rfd are my number one and number two picks on ethereum right now and um so let's just go back to rfd so we're going to talk about rfd okay guys because the chart to me is looking pretty bullish uh, uh, very bullish indeed and um, this reminds me of the you know um the sideways accumulation before the breakout on pepe or at least at the time when i bought you pepe okay not from the very beginning but um what we see is this pump this huge pump i like to zoom out if you've been following the channel you know that i like to zoom out okay but we see this big pump over here and then we see this sideways accumulation okay and um it looks like we're gonna try and draw it now actually it looks like it could be forming an uh symmetrical triangle so yeah that looks like obviously we have it trending within this range okay but um let's see if we can get a symmetrical we're close enough okay yeah i'd say yeah that, that's a symmetrical triangle so we see a symmetrical triangle um yeah that we could potentially be looking for a breakout out of this level and um really this is a wave one so uh we got a b c correction and so this could be a the start of a wave three forming on this particular chart, which I'm waiting out for. I've been holding this token, haven't sold a single coin, and I reckon we're going to get a huge breakout of these levels, especially as volume starts coming in as we go into the next week. So um, yeah, still bullish on this particular project. I know a lot of you have left uh, comments in the comment section saying thanks for letting me know about this project. I don't think it's over. Uh, I think there's there's still a lot more. For this project it's only sitting at a 66 million market cap this actually hit 100 i think it might have been 102 or just over 100 million market cap at its previous all-time high and i believe that we're going to take out the all-time high um at the end of the day it's not financial advice so don't risk more than what you can afford to lose and do your own research but i see it happening um for the simple fact that the community is growing we've got a very strong community growing on this project um there's twitter spaces more or less every single day okay and i reckon you tune into these because there's lots of i think it's like two spaces a day um, but there's lots of you know information and, and bullish you know people coming in and telling their story about about you know their journey with crypto and why they think that refund is going to be bullish or is bullish and uh, there's people like movie directors you know um you know the guy who the guy who directed uh uh, you know, um, what's it, Tulsa King, for example, and, uh, you know, things like, you know, uh, I can't remember what the other one was, uh, Tulsa King is a, is a, is a series with Sylvester Stallone, and, you know, there was another film that I can't remember what it is, okay, but there's a number of films that this guy directed, and he's, you know, him and a bunch of, you know, potential, potentially a bunch of his friends who are obviously Hollywood stars and things like that could potentially be jumping into this, I know that he's in this, and um yeah i mean there's lots of people in the crypto space that we're not aware of they don't talk about it on their platforms of course you know it's, it's it's controversial okay guys so there's lots of people in crypto worth a lot of money uh that are you know talking about it amongst their friends but they're not necessarily talking about it you know in the media and things like that but you know rfd has caught their eye so you know to me that is bullish um again they're having twitter spaces and things like that um you know a few times a day um, you know, so come o come over and join Twitter, okay? That's where it's all going down. Um, I know there was a voice chat in the Telegram a couple of days ago as well. Uh, yesterday, actually, there was a voice chat in Telegram. There was a bunch of people tuned in over there as well. So the community is looking really bullish. There's actually almost 10,000 members in the RFD community on Telegram alone, okay? So that's 8,690 members, Okay. Um, on Twitter, 49,000, guys. Almost 50,000. Probably break that soon. 
But yeah, I mean, you know, I'm bullish on this project. Um, I'm still bullish. So I had to make an update for you. Let you know I'm still bullish on this project. Okay, there's nothing has changed. All right, guys. i um, still been holding. You know, could have sold the top over here. You know, 100 million is a psychological number. So a lot of people would have taken profits. I could have taken profits, but I chose not to. Only because I was still early. At the time, I think it was only like three days old. Okay. Um, yeah, it was only like three days old. So, you know, you got to give it a chance. Um, I think over the next weeks and months, we're going to see this go to the moon. Okay, guys, this gives me Pepe vibes. Um, that is the community. The community is doing that for me. So, super bullish on this project. Uh, we'll see where this one goes. Okay. Again, Ben. Right, so the second one is Ben or Ben Coin. Okay, guys, so Ben. Um, you can see the chart is looking bullish. Okay, guys, I did take some profits along the way. It's the first time I'm talking about it on the channel, actually. But I did some take some profits, okay, and I'm still holding a very large moon bag of Ben, um, of Ben coin, okay. And um, I believe that you know you can see my blue lines, right? I normally draw my targets of where I expect to be scaling out some profits, okay? Because at the end of the day, we've got to be smart investors. You know, I understand holding or huddle, but um, ultimately you've got to be scaling out some profits along the way. Uh, because that's how we make it that's how we crush it in crypto that's how we buy the dips with some of the profits and things like that um i've been holding ben from way over here okay first bought into ben around this area okay so scaling out i scaled out a little bit of profits okay i'm still holding a moon bag of this particular project i think this is just the beginning for this particular token we're seeing it come down now and find a base so i think we see a little bit more sideways on this project we see it start crawling back towards the previous high and then we see it break and potentially hit some of these targets up here and that is potentially okay remember it's not financial advice do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose but the chart is looking super bullish the reason i like this token is because it's 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 being taken over by bitboy it's not founded by bitboy Oh, oh, drop my phone. Give me a minute. Oh, right, it's not founded by BitBoy, but it's been taken over by BitBoy Crypto. Okay, and there's a whole ecosystem being uh, born here. Attention economy token. So there's another token called uh, Psyop. Um, the person that created Ben also created Psyop, and then there's a third token which has just been announced called Loyal, and that's one that I've invested in all three of these tokens. Okay. Uh, just so you're aware, I bought in the pre-sale on Psyop, I bought in the pre-sale on Loyal, Loyal hasn't launched yet, so we're waiting for that to launch, but um, yeah, just wanted to make you aware of, you know, these altcoins, because these are the two that I'm most bullish on, so I thought I'd share them with you in this video, you'll have to look into it more, maybe I need to do um, a video of Ben on its own, but it has BitBoy Crypto talking about it consistently on his channel, obviously he owns this project, and the logo has changed, by the way, the logo has changed. So if we go to the website, you'll see the new logo. It was taken off of Uniswap br briefly, uh, but um, uh, because of the logo, and everything's been updated now. Uh, you can see it hasn't been updated on Dex Tools yet. But um, yeah, like I said earlier, it's no longer a meme coin. It is now a attention economy token. And there's reasons why BitBoy took over the project, I'm sure. You guys, a lot of you watching have already know about all of this. So all the information is out there. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because the chart is looking super bullish. You can see it on my screen right now. This, to me, looks like a bullish chart. If you've ever seen a chart like this, you know that this is gearing up for a very large move to the upside. It has the biggest influencer in crypto spearheading it forward with around, with around 1.5 million followers on YouTube and a million followers plus on twitter okay guys so that's why i'm super bullish on this token you know why i'm bullish on refund coin that's really all i've got with you in this video so uh yeah if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe like and comment down below for more content like this and i'll see you in the next video